here at the winners final for any market tournament we have wabs and we have uh, excuse me the game my name with the game of yeah <laughs> We have SSJ3, Super Saiyan 3, cool. <laughs> and, <laughs> we have SSJ3 and we have Wabs. Hmm? Oh, the Goku shirt makes. That, if for those who are not here, he's wearing a Goku shirt. So that makes sense. He's going Super Saiyan for the tournament. Um, SSJ3, he's a newcomer to the tournament team. Wabs, you know, is a Smash veteran. So let's see how, um, how he fares in this final team. Because I mean, in this tournament, we had people like Box Lunch, Chrome, we had Charles, we had um, Cockut, we had, uh, we have Anne, we have a lot of people in this tournament. And for him to make it this far, he's done very well for himself. He's playing Pit. And look at that match you now. Well, he's taking a lot of damage, I can tell you that. So, he just played me. Um, who, I play Sonic also, and he just played me. But the difference between my Sonic and Wab's Sonic is Wab's is way more patient, and his punishes are extremely on point so i think he's gonna see the difference it's jarring even though it's the same character the play styles are completely different and right now it's not looking like he can, he's handling it very well but i mean still has time to make readjustments because it's three out of five for winners final so he has the time all right some of his bread and butters he's seen isn't working from the downtrade to up him so he might have to do a little more modifications And Wabs there with the correct punish. So Wabs also taking his time. He doesn't have to rush the character. Because he know Pit most times doesn't pose any real danger. Sonic is faster than him and has a lot more options. So once he doesn't put himself in a position to be punished, he's fine. And this, okay, let's see what he does for the off stage. Or if you just let him come back. Tries for the spring punish, but no. Wabs there trying with the edge guard. And right now, as the damage goes higher for Sonic, it's actually better. Because on 160, it will, it will be kill percentage for Pit. With a sim, with a roll, or any, any throw should kill Pit. Because he's not the heaviest of characters. And that's it, that's the aim. With the up aim. And he is down a stock. I don't know, will he find a way to bounce back against Wabs? I'm not sure. So now Wabs is on his extra credits. Racking up that percentage, 25% in. I think it's safe to say if Wabs racks up more than 60%, SSG3 will not be able to come back from that deficit. Wabs doing a very good job of you know correct picking the correct distances and choosing the correct option in terms of jab and so on. Playing very well. Not very risky, but oh I'm not sure what happened there. I don't know if he lost his jump or something. But he slides up. I'm not sure. I'll have to watch you replay to see what happened there. But but Pit is on 70%. I think that's the main thing right now. With a nice life lead, Wabs can take his time, do his small punishes, and win the match. Once he, once he plays safely and doesn't take unnecessary damage from the Pit, he'll be fine. And Wabs here looking for that punish. Oh, almost nice read with the wake up roll there. Nice forward smash. Looking for this. I got it. He got it. No, and he got his mega job. But that didn't kill him. He's coming. And three or four in a row. Can't you with that? And that, folks, is how we play Sonic. So 1-0. SSG3 is thinking to himself what to do at this point. Should he switch characters? Should he stick to what? Because I have seen him playing casuals and he, has, he, don't, he can't play different characters. So I'm not sure what the best option now will be. Still, you know... And I mean, in a situation like this, where you're in winner's final, there's no reason to rush. Think of all, and we go into Donkey Kong. Now, I don't know if that's the best matchup against Sonic in particular. Yes, Donkey Kong is heavy. He's heavy one. He's strong. You know, he does a lot of damage. But, in, I don't know. I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about the matchup against Wabs. And against Sonic is a bad matchup. Against Wabs, that might be an even worse decision. So, I don't know. Let's see. We don't know. Let's see what the newcomer SSJ3 brings to the table. So far, starting off good. From what I'm seeing, very solid Donkey Kong. 
and Watt's also racking up some percentage because remember with Donkey Kong he's bigger and bigger means a bigger hitbox which means more room to hit and Watt's up 29 to 90% not looking good here and also edge guard wise uh, Donkey Kong oh, come back on stage will be a problem because as we've seen Watt is on point with his um, springs so I hope SSG she can tech very well Alright, Donkey Kong at China, you know, trying to really match up, trying to see what he can do. Because remember, at the end of the day, Donkey Kong is one of the strongest characters in the game. Like, even on par with Bowser. Even though Bowser is slightly better, you know, he has better confirms. That's not the point. The problem in this matchup is catching Sonic with the Donkey Kong. That's the biggest problem we have so far. Nice up thing, nice up smash. And this could be, this is kill percentage for Sonic. If Sonic go up, but because of the um, because of how high the damage was on, he went too high for the confirm. Donkey Kong do not good job. So. And this, the, if Wabs is not careful, because like I guess saying Donkey Kong is heavy, so Wabs need to land a clean hit, not to kill him. Normal rules when you kill him. But when he down smash, what will we do for the edge guard? Oh, interesting option by Wabs. Okay, we going up. What the forward? The forward throw, I'm, I'm not even shocked. I'm shocked. I mean, yes, he's on one. He was on 176, but and the forward throw was even fresh, to be honest. But all right, cool. Maybe he had body. <laughs> all right, Wax right, so here on his extra credits. Hope he doesn't fall victim to one of um, TK's heavy, heavy hits. All right, playing good so far. Trying for the fo follow up after the throw. No hit, no luck. Could Wabs come back from this? Nice, mm, nice edge guard playing by SSJ3. We are, he's showing he's not a slouch. It's just that who he's playing, who he's playing against is a very good opponent. SSG3, you know, trying to beat out moves because he knows he can kill, but it's a land hit is the problem. Nice punish after the roll. Now we have a fresh Sonic on 38%. I would say this is a basically even match. Wabs doesn't have the luxury to relax. But at the same time, SSJ3 has to be careful. Alright, who has the punch wound up? Alright, so we have Chris Aboon, aka Man Defense here, coming to help me commentate. Chris, I don't know if he was watching, but things are looking grim for the newcomer SSJ3. Have you been watching the match, sir? I certainly have been watching the match, and it looks like a winner there for Wabs. The Sonic is going to take it. And we're here 2 0 at the winner's final. I'm, I'm putting on a voice for, because um, I'm, you know, having fun and wilding up. Everybody having fun. Just yeah. the market. It's vibes. And yeah. also, we have a team. Team tournament is going on, right? Yeah. yeah. We got we got teams. We got a team tournament coming up after. We'll hopefully have some stream of that. But may I say that this has been one of the best organized tournaments. It's vibes. Everybody's having a good time. And um, yeah, happily do it again. All right. We see the counter pick on Pit here. Well, this is very interesting, as you can see from the other day. With, uh, with that Palutena taking down zero, no mains, no tier list involved in Smash 4 anymore. You see the pit trying to maintain control. Uh, Sonic doing some spacing. He's gonna try to go in there, waiting for an opportunity. Pit getting some pressure right now. A little dodge matchup, and hopefully he's gonna get punished for this. And we see it there. Sonic is taking control of the situation, but the pit is fighting back with pure venom. Oh, and a nice shield to break off that up air. We all know that those Sonic up airs can be very, very loopy and very dangerous. Oh, and a chance at the spike there, and he just missed it. capitalized in this situation right now. Sonic going in, has him off the stage. And is he gonna do? Yes he is, and it misses. It's gonna come in there. Oh, oh there we go! 
First stock goes to the Sonic. Wes is taking control of this situation. I'm not sure how long I can hold this voice. I might need to switch to my regular voice in just a minute. <laughs> Vlad seem to be be almost dominating this tournament. Oh, and then we see nice edge play by uh, by Sonic there. Set fighting back. Nice edge play, and he's off the stage once again. Dangerous play by Pit here. He's not in an, he's not in an advanced position. He cannot afford to take these kind of chances. Should play it safe and just try to hit. Like that. Gonna be able to take the stock here. One thing a lot of the smarter players have realized is not try to outspeed or outplay Watson. Excellent read of situations. Very very quick on his feet and will respond directly to your moves. We see the second stock there. And there we go. Wabs is the winner of the winner's final. We see a 3-0 clean out victory for that Sonic. They're holding the diamond that he certainly got out of SGG's hands.